Hello again, everybody. I am outside, would you believe it, in the fresh air. And I've been out here for, I don't know, this place five minutes or so. This is a, a nice place because this is actually, I think, a natural pond. So I'm going to have a little look around whether you can see any um, water welling up from below. So far I'm only seeing, uh, you know, ripples and breeze, wind type patterns. But um, I'll uh, walk around and see uh, with what I can see. One other reason why this is an interesting place to me is that uh, later on in the year I can harvest uh, a really nice type of mint plant here. And it's one of the very few um, types of wild plant that I can actually get my hands on in the nature, you know, in, um, in a natural place in this part of my country. And as you maybe know, I spent um, quite a bit of my younger years in either living or, or visiting in the south of France and back in those days I learned to go outside and um, harvest you know the typical uh, Provencal herbs so rosemary, thyme, um, What's that thing called? Penny Royal in English. It's like a mint type of mint, but it's uh, a lot smaller and very strong flavored. Love that. It's beautiful stuff. Um, and uh, sometimes uh, a bit rarer, like, I don't know, a bean, a bean herb, a herb that you use with beans um, and lavender and sage and those type sometimes but uh, you really had to know the spots where you could um, you know harvest some of those and uh, I always had a lot of fun um, doing that and to me it's like essential because I connect with the land and you know the soil beneath my feet and the the, the ecosystem and all that now it looks very bare at the moment and it is but all this will be completely overgrown and there will be like, you know, yay high nettles and brambles and all the rest of it quite soon. And I also heard the first um, couple of lapwings back in the, in the field just now, just a little while ago. And uh, the first lapwings of the season, they're a migratory bird that... Uh, come back here in um, in the spring and I am still not seeing any bubbly motion in here so I'm just you know having a bit of a chat because of after all the intensity <laughs> I don't know about you guys but oh my gosh that was just intense all that and it's like all winter long has just been heaped up intensity more and more i don't know about you guys but i need me a bit of fresh air and i'm really you know i'm really enjoying just this even though um it's rather bare at the moment and there's a couple of you know there's those type of plants i don't know the english names that one that looks a bit feathery right there it uh, produces yellow flowers in the end of August, thereabouts. Um, they're all tiny still, but it's coming. Spring is here and life is here and there's even a bit of sunshine. And it's very pleasant out here. Willow uh, catkins right there all the way. All lots of yellow, pretty little um, willow catkins. And behind that... A uh, big bush that you can see that has tiny white flowers. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit on that. I don't know if that's going to work. But that's actually a, I suppose, a blackthorn. Um, they're the first to blossom 
really um, of those uh, wild type uh, bushes and plants that I always think of as basically Celtic heritage. The blackthorn is the brother of the white thorn, also known as the hawthorn. Let me see, there's a bit of um, stuff that's already opened out there. So, yeah. Um, they make a uh, big, like, uh, something in between a plum and a berry in late autumn. Also known as the slow uh, to you Great Britain folks out there. Very interesting type uh, witchy plant, I think. I don't harvest those because I can't, well, I've seen him now. So I may keep an eye out uh, at the end, at the other end of the season, whether he's got any nice uh, slow plums on him that I can harvest because I have used those one time, like a handful of them that I harvested that I stuck in with uh, a couple of pears, the type of pear that you have to boil with, um, you know, um, with uh, sugar, with like to make jam out of or some type of stuff like that. And uh, that was excellent. That was really extraordinary. They're really strong tasting, the berries, the slow berries. So you have to, you know, combine it with something that's milder. And then it gets really nice. What I do also harvest, other than the mint uh, plants that I find here at this specific location and nowhere else, by the way, is, oh yeah, these bramble and or raspberry leaves. Isn't that just worth coming out of bed for? For me, yes. Ha! Oh, the power of the green, you guys. I just love talking to you guys so much. And right next to him, so bramble leaf, great for detoxing and cleansing and that type of stuff. And this actually, these teeny weeny ones, can you see the teeny weeny green bits right there? Is full of them. That's my great friend, the hawthorn, also known as white thorn. And both the leaves and the um, the flowers especially are a wonderful gentle tonic for the heart and I tend to make that into a herbal infusion with I don't know whatever else I've got in the house you know mint or ginger or both or something like that something along those lines and these have got like these terrific sharp pins on the end of their branches let me check that definitely is Hawthorn because they've got um, the leaves are shaped actually a bit like that except that the um, it's a lot more dented so it's like a, a fan type all around or a, in, you know it comes out in in a set of five uh, like a hand and then it's all dented so that's um, that's the hawthorn. What else do I harvest? I harvest nettles sometimes because of their uh, great properties for all the blood as well and for detoxing. It doesn't taste like all that much. And that's about it, I think. So no rosemary and no thyme and none of those exotic things, really. And still nature does for us whatever she can. And even in a tiny corner like this, you can find, you know, pretty green things and some nice smelling things and over there on the other side of the water where I was just now where is where I tend to find the mint and it's like a chocolatey type mint it's a really interesting herb I suppose somebody planted them at some point or just dropped them there and um, when I was walking there just now I fancied that I could actually smell the chocolatey mint smell which makes no sense at all because it hasn't even come above ground yet. So, there's a bit of a witchy herb gathering tale for you guys. I hope you get the chance to go outside and uh, smell and taste the springtime, folks. And uh, let, me, uh, let me know if you do. Post your own.
let me see what your countryside looks like, if you have any. Or a balcony, or a little park, or there's always something. And um, yeah, have a great, uh, have a great day, guys. Thank you for watching once more.